Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to easily remember the five different types of qualifier variables in STTM. So the five qualifier types are grouping qualifiers, result qualifiers, synonym qualifiers, record qualifiers and variable qualifiers. So we will try to understand different qualifiers using these three use cases let's say we have a sentence called heb so which stands for hemoglobin is a laboratory test which belongs to hematology category and for subject 1001 hemoglobin is performed and the result was 15 gram per deciliters and the reference range is the lower limit is 14 and the upper limit is 18 and for subject 1002 hemoglobin test was not done and uh, because the subject refused the test so let us try to first identify the sdtm lb variables that will be used to store some of these components the first one is the short name so this short name is stored in lb test cd which is our topic variable in lb domain so and we have this full name or the name of the test that is hemoglobin this will be stored in a variable called lb test and then so this is some is a laboratory test which belong to hematology category so this information of hematology would be stored in a variable called lb cat and then here if we come to this line 1001 hgb the value 15 would be stored in a variable called lb or which is original result and then this unit may be stored in a variable called lb o r r e s u and the lower limit for the reference range would be stored in a variable called lb o r n r which is for normal range and low and this upper limit 18 will be stored in a variable called lb o r n r high so now coming to this second subject 1002 hgb so the test is not done so whether if it is done or not done so the not done related information is stored in a variable called lb stat and the reason why that test was not done will be stored in a variable called lb r e a s n d which stands for lb reason not done so we have identified the variables that will be used to capture this now we will have to link what will be the roles or the qualifier categories for each of these variables so if we see hgb is stored in lb test cd which is a topic variable so we have a similar name or the full form for this hgb and that is stored in lb test so we have a qualifier called synonym qualifier so the lb test is actually qualifying or representing the same thing which is present in hgb in a different form so we have this category called as synonym qualifier so lb test is a synonym qualifier so we will now be able to easily remember what is a synonym qualifier and an example for synonym qualifier now if we come to lb cat so if we see so there can be multiple different types of hematology tests so for example wbc count rbc count and other such things and hgb is one such test so lb test is part of an upper level grouping which is a category so we are we have a qualifier type called grouping qualifier so lb cat is an example of grouping qualifier so now we will be able to tell what a grouping qualifier is and an example for grouping qualifier so lb cat falls under grouping qualifier so now if we come to this lb ORRES, so what is this so this is the result of hemoglobin so if we come to now the let's use a different color so if we come to the qualifiers list so there is something called as result qualifier so on this record for subject 1001 the topic is hemoglobin and this result is stored in a variable called lbors so what does lbors actually represent it is a result on that record so the qualifier qualifier status for lbors is result qualifier 
so l b or r e s is a result qualifier variable now if we come to this gram per deciliter this is actually qualifying the number stored in l b o r r e s so gram per deciliter is qualifying the information stored in l b o r r e s so l b o r r e s u is qualifying the value present in other variable so it becomes a qualifier variable so if we now come back to this one variable qualifier l b o r r e s is a variable qualifier l b o r r e s u is a variable qualifier similarly the lower range and the lower limit value and the upper limit value is also qualifying the result variable so these two will also be our variable qualifiers because these do not have a meaning if we do not have the result variable so the value stored in l b o r r e s has additional qualifiers like original result unit and the lower limit and the upper limit and the variables which store such information are called variable qualifiers now we have seen four different types grouping result synonym and variable so lastly if we come to this example of 1002 hgb which is not being done uh, because the subject refused this information is stored in variable called not done lb stat and lb res nd so these two variables fall under record qualifiers because these do not belong to any other four qualifier variable definition so these will be called as record qualifiers so grouping qualifiers similarly so we can just easily remember an example of lb cat and we can have some sub categorization so we will have lb s cat also as part of grouping qualifier result qualifier we all the result variables the orres stresc stresn will become part of result qualifiers and synonym qualifiers the simplest example is our lb test which contains a elaborated version or the full name of the test because in the lb test cd which is topic variable we store only the abbreviated version of the test name so the full name is stored in lb test so that is a synonym qualifier and then before coming to qualifier uh, record qualifier let's see some examples of variable qualifiers so we will have to identify some variables which have meaning only because of the presence of other variables because the units have a meaning for the variable uh, when the result is present which is present in lb or r e s so the variables which qualify other variables will become variable qualifiers so simplest examples are original result unit normal range low and normal range high variables and for record qualifiers so we have the examples of stat and res and d so hope this helps thank you for watching and keep learning